maybe first is 3% of the population, which could be uh, mainly targeting health workforce who are day in and day out uh, meeting um, uh, COVID patients. And then it will expand to different other categories of the population. When it will arrive, it will depend again on availability of vaccine, um, manufacturing capacity of manufacturers for that type of vaccine, and also for ability and capacity of the country for implementation. Shortages in beds, in isolation, uh, hospitals has been seen in August. So currently, as we are on the second wave, we don't have uh, any anecdotal evidence that the occupancy is uh, exceeding the available uh, number of beds. So we don't have the devastation which has been uh, witnessed uh, in August. While 2020 has been an extremely difficult year for especially Syrian people who have already gone through 10 years of, of conflict, COVID added and exacerbated the suffering of Syrian people, and I really recognize that. Uh, while especially in terms of economic impact, and COVID itself has been seen as a lesser, uh, as a lesser enemy, I would say, for many people.